Hello everyone, my name is Marta and I'm here today to talk about aversion therapy in the treatment of alcoholism. Aversion therapy is based on behavior principles of conditioning. The aim is to assist clients to quit or reduce alcohol intake by associating the alcohol use behavior with a negative response, for example, nausea or electrical shock. The reason why this study was conducted is because the researchers believe that the outcome of treatment program want to be periodically reviewed and the results made available to professional community in the field. AIMS was to assess treatment outcome and determine the alcohol abstinence rate in a sample group to investigate the hypothesis that uh, therapy is effective in, that aversion therapy is effective in combination to psychological therapies in the treatment of alcoholism. Patient 160 patients who had been treating for alcoholism at Shield Shelter Hospital of Santa Barbara. Uh, methods the researchers had normally select a group of 200 patients from a total of 377. Findings, the results showed that 106 patients had a 12-month abstinence rate of 71.3 and 13 to 12 months abstinence rate of 65 and the current abstinence rate of 78.1. The stronger predictor of abstinence was identified to be the number of reforced treatment undertaken by, patient, by patients. The data show a business rate of 70% for those who take the two prescribed reinforcement treatment, 44 for those who have only taken one reinforcement treatment, 27 for those who had not taken reinforcement treatment, and 92 for those who had taken more than the two prescribed reinforcement treatment. Based on these findings, the research concluded that multimodal treatment programs for alcoholism which include aversion therapy, are at least as acceptable to patients or those based primarily on counseling. Limitations. However, the study does not consider the implication of patient characteristics shown by later articles to be decisive on the success of investigated therapies. The review of those literature has well some traits which seems to permeate the literature uh, used to critique this paper. These are mainly linked to patients' characteristics and suggest that an array of negative points can be called upon to explain the avoidance of aversion therapy as a treatment for alcoholism. While Smith and Frohling 1990 report positive results for the treatment investigated, the paper failed in many ways to consider a wider contest and therefore generalizability and even the validity of the results are compromised. The fact that the study was designed to investigate one treatment exclusively turns out to be weakness in face of results of other studies which show that different treatments modality weld considerably similar results. However, some of the finds presented by the study might be reinterpreted to support a different conclusion. The study show a strong positive correlation between reinforcement sessions and the rates of abstinence from alcohol consumption. This was interpreted as suggesting treatment effectiveness. It is possible, nevertheless, to suggest that completing or prescribed reinforcement sessions, or in some of the cases even more sessions that were prescribed, show a higher level of commitment that of those who do chose not to complete or extend such sessions. If this is the case, the result of the study could turn out to support other studies which point at individual characteristics at 
the catalyst of behavioral change. Wilson 1991 points out that therapies are ethically bound to choose the least invasive and the cheapest treatment unless more evasive and expensive treatments are shown to have significantly high effectiveness, which is not the case of aversion therapy, which has been shown to have effectiveness comparable to other less invasive and cheaper treatments. In addition, in addition, it has been suggested, based on a review of the data produced by a large-scale research project match, conducted by Cutley and the Fishbane in 2005, that alcoholism treatment are in fact ineffective and what the actors call selection effect is the catalyst behavior change. The hypothesis is that patients who agree to participate in child treatments are already predisposed to reduce or abstain from alcohol consumptions. Other research conduct suggests the majority of alcoholics who quit drink or management their alcohol consumption uh, under control act autonomously. The writers report on a review of the effectiveness of different alcoholism treatment based on 361 control studies and conclude that there is a wide range of options for those seeking to reduce alcohol consumption or quit drinking without have to involve period of hospitalization or frequent, or frequent interventions. Finally, I study compare a wide range of different treatments for alcoholism rank aversion therapy on 16.5. Milia and Will Bourne, 2002, analyzed results from several studies based on control trials involving 46 treatment modalities, and their conclusion was that short treatments can attain a higher success rate than long treatments, which in turn questioned the appropriateness of period of hospitalization. This corroborates the position put forward by previous discussed papers.